Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how you can create a cyberpunk poster design like this in Inkscape. So let's get started. First, open your Inkscape. Keep in mind that this option is selected. Snap to paste border. Pick up your rectangle tool and just create a rectangle here and snap it to the border. I will change this rectangle's color to 90%. Okay, I guess this works. Now I will go to extensions, go to render. And go to grids and create a grid i will just select live preview here uh, you can go with any value here and just i will just tell you to experiment with it a lot i am going with these values click apply and close and after selecting this grid i will hold shift and just change its color to this blue okay now uh, just open your fill and stroke menu you can open it by clicking this go to stroke style and change my stroke width to 2 pixel now what i'm going to do is just select this grid go to part and go to path effects i will add a part effect of perspective envelope okay after adding this i will just select my node tool and keep in mind two diamonds will be available here one of gray and one of white we will work with white here they are for the envelope here so i will just drag it down here like this drag it down like this here i will again select this white here i will select this white here I will drag it down to here I guess I guess this works for me so what I am going to do is just press this rectangle here and press ctrl d to duplicate it just select this rectangle and select this grid here by holding and pressing shift go to object clip and set i guess this works now i will just close this path effect i will select uh, by keeping selecting this grid i will go to stroke paint and change it to this linear gradient now i will pick up my gradient edit and gradient uh, edit and create an edit gradient tool and just collect create a gradient like this from top to bottom i guess this works now what i'm going to do is just select this circle tool and create a circle here by holding ctrl and shift okay i will just select this circle here and i will remove the stroke out of this by pressing and holding shift and clicking this x button okay now i will change its color for the time being to yellow or this orange i will just open this align menu and i will just use relative to page currently just center it on the page and hold control and drag it down a bit from here i guess this works now what i'm going to do is just select this again i will or you go to this fill and stroke menu go to fill and change it to mesh okay select the mesh option here go to mesh tool here now what i'm going to do is just select this gray diamond here i will make it yellow here i will select this also i will make it yellow here i will select this here i will make it orange i will select this orange also i will also make it orange okay diamond here I will select this diamond and I will make it pink. I will select this also, I will also make it pink. Select this also, I will also make it a little bit more pink. I guess this works. Now, what I'm going to do is just select this rectangle here and create a rectangle here. I will change my color to, I guess, blue works for me, or I will go with black. Black box or 90% okay. Just create a rectangle here. 
I will make it black. Black box better. I will create a rectangle here. I will lower it its size a bit. I guess this works. And I will duplicate it and drag it down here. After dragging it down, I will just lower its width like this. Okay. After doing this, I guess just like this and select like this. So to I guess page will work. I will just center these two. Just currently this is a rectangle and so I will select these two and go to part and go to object to part and convert these both to part and go to extensions and go to generate from part and interpolate them. So I am going with these settings. Experiment minus 0 0.3 interpolate steps 4 interpolation method 1. You can experiment with these. I am going with this. Click apply and just close it. Now what I am going to do is just when you select this you will see it is a group. I will ungroup it by pressing this option or you can use the keyboard shortcut for it ctrl shift j so after selecting all these i will just go to part and just combine them all okay i will select this part i will select the circle it is a circle so i will also convert it to part object to part select this and select this and go to part and go to difference oh these were the default interpolation objects that we part that i use so i will just delete this so i guess this works now what i'm going to do is just duplicate this just control d now i will blur it like this little bit blur like this work fine so guys that's how you can create a retro design like this in Inkscape, uh, we can also duplicate it to get much more view. Low, okay. So I guess. Oh, so firstly, I can also do this. Is just create a rectangle here. Rectangle here like this. And after selecting this rectangle, you can just go to this pattern menu, fill, and you can select. Polka dots. Polka dots small works for me. I guess. And you can make these white. Just like this and lower this. You can just lower it to like the bottom first. And that and then make it come one above, okay? Step above the layer. From the bottom layer. Just lower its opacity I guess this must works so that's how you can create a retro design like this in Inkscape thank you guys for watching hope you liked it like comment subscribe see you guys again bye